Hi, I'm Ros Savage and you're watching Beachwalks.tv. So I'm here, as you already know, with Roz Savage. Roz is on an incredible campaign to row by herself, solo, across the oceans of the world. She's already completed the Atlantic, and she's one-third of her way through the Pacific and visiting us here in Hawaii, uh, which we're just uh, chicken skin thrilled to have her <laughs> with us. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. Yeah, so uh, we were just talking and I said I often, I'm like a hacker adventurer. I, I've done many adventures. I crossed the Molokai to Waikiki race oh, 41 wow. miles, uh, but with a crew of 11 and a chase boat and you're out there by yourself. Um, I think there are a lot of people that actually have this uh, adventure by proxy and I want to know how much you feel their energetic support and that's actually one of the questions um, that I got on Twitter. H how much do you connect with other people through the internet and get their support? Very much so actually. I found the Atlantic Ocean very very tough psychologically mm -hmm. and there were times when I just really didn't know how I was going to carry on. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose in many ways I didn't have any choice. I had to carry on because I'm out there in the middle of the ocean. I can't just go, I quit because there isn't going to be a helicopter swooping in to take me off. Mm -hmm. But those days when I was really struggling for motivation, I would often think, well, even if I can't do this for myself, I know there are lots of people back on dry land who are really willing me on, people who've maybe made a bit of a donation or just sent emails with moral support. And even if I can't do it for myself, mm -hmm. I have to do it for them. Mm -hmm. What about the uh, energy up there, the uh, universe or spiritual side? Do you commune with uh, a presence that you believe in or not? That's a really interesting question. I think part of the reason that I do what I do, it was almost like a calling. I was at a stage in my life where I was asking a lot of questions about who am I, what's my life purpose? Mm -hmm. And this crazy idea to row across oceans mm -hmm. kind of ambushed me literally one day like a, a bolt from the blue mm -hmm. and I really felt like I had no choice but to do it. Um, it would have felt like a betrayal of my life purpose mm -hmm. if I hadn't have done it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I do kind of feel like it's, it's exactly what I'm meant to be doing but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy and there are times out there on the ocean when I'm like <laughs> Give me your break. <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't this what you wanted me to be doing? Mm -hmm. um, one of the reasons I went out onto the ocean was because I did want to feel that sort of connection with the planet or with something bigger than myself. Mm -hmm. But what I found actually is that for me, spirituality is very much in other people. I sort of, when I feel that connectedness with other human beings, mm -hmm. that's when I get that kind of goosebumpy thrill. Mm -hmm. And I don't really get that on the ocean. Mm -hmm. I miss people when I'm out there. I miss mm -hmm. that human energy. Mm -hmm. There are times when I feel like I'm the only human being for, well, well as for I am. Well, for miles <laughs> as you are. Yes. Yeah, very accurately, very accurately. So, well, I know that um, all of our Beach Walks viewers will be um, sending their good vibes and good energy to you for those uh, up and down times. And I mean, I think, I know you know this, you're a living example of it, but we, we choose these challenges because that's where the fun, the excitement, the energy is. You know, you wouldn't start this off just to land three days later, 5,000 <laughs> exactly. miles somewhere else. I do feel like the feeling of satisfaction mm -hmm. at the end is proportionate to just what you've had to go through to get there. Yes. Like the bigger the challenge, the bigger the sense of satisfaction. Yes. And for many years I worked in an office, I never would have dreamed that I could be living this life now. And I'm just so much happier and so much more fulfilled now. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't trade my life now for anything. I just love it. Oh, great, great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. And You're you very can welcome. find Roz at her website, yeah. rozsavage.com. And she's got incredible videos and stories and pictures on her website and is using uh, satellite technology, which, uh, you know, that's, to me, the satellite is really a representation of the sky and the people on the planet connecting oh, in a really literal way yes um, so it's gonna be I'm very excited to be to be following along with you so thank you so much you're very welcome Hello. thank you you know when you you sometimes when you're driving you just kind of go into that sort of alpha brainwave state mm -hmm. it was just like my 
ego, my me, got out of the way. Mm -hmm. And this idea was allowed to come through that was just the perfect idea. Mm -hmm. It was the answer to all the questions that I was asking. Mm -hmm.